Contingency tables are useful for solving conditional probability problems and for chi-square problems. If you only have two levels of each variable, you can probably complete a contingency table using a calculator. But as you add levels to the variables, the calculations become time-consuming. StatCrunch, however, makes quick work of these calculations. In this problem, we have three levels of the type of movie variable and five levels of the age variable. If this problem is in my stat lab, you can just click on the table icon to transfer the data into StatCrunch. If you are not in my stat lab, you will have to enter the data into StatCrunch spreadsheet yourself. With the data in StatCrunch, click on Stat, Tables, Contingency with Summary Data. In the Select Columns box, click on the five levels of age. You can do this by clicking on 18 to 24, hold down the Shift key, and then click on the remaining four levels of age. In the Row Labels box, select the type of movie variable. First, let's get the expected counts. In the Display box, click on the expected count. For this part, leave the remaining default selections and click on Compute. The Results table gives us the basic contingency table. The Cell Format box shows how the data in each cell are arranged. The observed count is on top with the expected frequency on the bottom. We also get the marginal frequencies for both variables. StatCrunch also calculated the default chi-square test statistic and the p-value for us. To get the information needed to solve conditional probability questions, click on Options, Edit. In the display box, Select the row percent, column percent, and percent of total, then click on Compute. We now have the information we need to solve conditional probability questions. Although the table looks complicated, all the cells contain the same basic information. The cell format box explains. The first number is the count in that cell. The second is the row percent, which is the proportion of the row total. For example, 38 in the 18 to 24 cell is 33.33% of the row total of 114. The third number in each cell is the column percent. For example, 38 in the 18 to 24 column is 56.72% of the column total of 67. Finally, the last number in each cell is percent of total. For example, 38 in the 18 to 24 column is 14.18% of the overall total of 268. I will show you how to interpret this data to solve conditional probability questions in the next video.